it was uh, to see Prabhupada how he emptied himself, you know, and he let, you know, and he just let Lord Chaitanya take him. Uh, one related story when, if you've all seen the plaques on the Vyasa Sons of Prabhupada's footprints, you know, the little story of how that happened. Uh, I was telling Sri Dakirti the other night. We took a, uh, Prabhupada was in New York for the first Ratha Yatra down Fifth Avenue. I, you know, I always see that as he just, Krishna had to give him something and bringing Lord Jagannath and bringing down Fifth Avenue in New York City, that was Krishna just showing Prabhupada, here's your reward because, you know, in Chaitanya Leela, the uh, Ratha Yatra uh, in the pastime of Kurukshetra and the gopis is, is, is such an intense pastime. So, um, so anyway, we were thinking how to, uh, you know, how we're going to worship Prabhupada during the, you know, the Vyas, the uh, Guru Puja. And so we brought clay up in a briefcase uh, from Nubrindavan. And Prabhupada, uh, I asked Prabhupada, can I take footprints for, our, for your worship during Vyas Puja? And Prabhupada said, okay. So I opened the briefcase and Prabhupada <laughs> smiled. Then uh, I took out the clay and put it down, covered it with talcum powder so Prabhupada wouldn't get clay on his feet. And so I asked Prabhupada, please step up. And, and Prabhupada stepped up on the clay. And then I said, okay, thank you, Prabhupada. And I dusted off his feet and I looked and there were no marks on the clay. <laughs> and so I, I'm like, what's, you know, is, what kind of, you know, is Prabhupada touching the ground or not touching the ground? <laughs> So then, you know, then my Nuvrindavan practicality thing kicked in and said, oh, I made it too hard, you know. So I said, so I said, Prabhupada, let me soften the clay and I'll be back. And, you know, Prabhupada said, okay. And he went to take prasadam. So we go and take it out of Prabhupada's room. We added water. We massaged it. And uh, brought it back in, covered it with talcum powder. And then said, Prabhupada, he just finished taking prasadam. I said, uh, Prabhupada, okay, it's ready. So he stepped on and this time, I pressed every toe. I pressed it in, and then I grabbed the heel and pushed it down inside to be sure we got it. Then Prabhupada stepped off, and he looked at it, and I dusted his feet. And then Prabhupada put on his charter. He left the building and went right on the Ratha Yatra cart. And that, and that imprint, you know, we took it to this mold shop, so Donna made his molds, and then we started producing them. And the clay is in the, uh, the clay imprint with Prabhupada's original dust. I mean, I don't know where else in the world you could find the actual dust from Prabhupada's lotus feet, but they're situated in Prabhupada's palace in that clay box on the side of the, on the side of the palace. You can find them in the booties that he has. <laughs> well, if you're fortunate enough, and the, you know, you you grab Shudakirti at the right moment. You know, when he was on one of those flights, he put the they put the booties on Prabhupada so he could walk in in at the airplane. He'll take the booties out and rub them on your head. So, so that's the actual dust of Prabhupada's lotus feet. And, you know, then from there it went all over. But uh, the fact that uh, Krishna arranged, I mean, what, what it took to get a parade down Fifth Avenue at that time with three carts and Lord Jagannath was certainly a mystical event. And Krishna, Krishna just fulfilled Prabhupada's desire to the whole world most important city, most important street, and Prabhupada brought Lord Jagannath to the world. Yeah. I'm going to embarrass you. No, no, no. Well, that's not hard to but do. I I do. <laughs> but that story proves the point. Uh, you know, how you got those footprints of Srila Prabhupada, but at one point, Srila Prabhupada said, Kaladri is expert at everything. Yeah, I know you're getting embarrassed by that, but can no, you... No, because I didn't believe it. I, mean, <laughs> you know, I think he just wanted me to get there sometime. <laughs> you know, it, was, it wasn't like I was there. Right? Could you tell yeah. us when he said it or when he wrote it? What was that? Uh... Uh, <laughs> Put you on the spot. Well, we were sending Prabhupada Sandesh and Bridge Bossy Spirits, wherever he was in the world. You know, and we made our own milk sweets here, which Prabhupada loved. And, you know, later on, 
They taught Radnath how to do the Sandesh, you know, the smoothing out, and Radnath took it to a next degree, but Radnath Maharaj always made Sandesh for Prabhupada. So in the Bridge Bhasi spirit, I know it's hard to believe, but back in the day, I used to do all the fire sacrifices at Nirvindrava. It's really hard to believe. But, you know, <laughs> uh, there was a picture of me doing a fire sacrifice on the Bridge Bhasi spirit. And so Prabhupada, uh, at that time, Tamal Krishnamaraj was his secretary, and Tamal Krishnamaraj always was taking care of me. I mean, he brought, in, in those last days in Juhu, when he brought me in to be Prabhupada's, you know, take care of Prabhupada is those last days. That was him. He said, you're coming in right now. So he uh, was going over the uh, Bridge Bossy Spirit with Prabhupada, and Prabhupada looked at the picture, and he said, this Kaladri, he is expert at everything. So, so Tamal Krishnaraj, you know, the next morning, he, he repeated the same thing. Tamal Krishnaraj takes the time to call me on the phone and said, Kaladri, you're the most fortunate. Prabhupada said you were expert at everything. And that... That's how that story happened, and I have yet to achieve that uh, <laughs> instruction by Srila Prabhupada. Yeah.